um, I think the way it affects me is that uh, in my Brazilian culture, a lot of the males, uh, they, they kind of have this mindset of like, oh, you, you got to get all the ladies, you know, you have to get one today and be with another one tomorrow. And like, oh, you have to drink, you know, like you have to do all these stupid things to be cool. And I feel like suddenly I've noticed myself kind of doing that. Like not necessarily like, oh, I'm staying with this chick tonight and then tomorrow I'm with another one. But I've always noticed that like I've tried to be like smooth with girls or something like that. Or like, I don't know, something stupid like that. Just trying to be cooler so I can fit the quota, even though that's not what I necessarily believe in. Um, so basically, um, generally, shooting affect my mental health by like thinking about like my everyday routine. Like I can be just going outside, and you never know um, what's gonna happen. Like going to school or movie theaters or anywhere where there's like a lot of people involved, you don't know when there is like something wrong that is gonna happen, or when somebody's gonna get shot, or yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um. I used to go to the movies, but then like, since there was like that shooting in the movies at the KMC, my mom like like my parents starting to get strict and like they were telling me like don't go out too much or if you just get out of school and you have like something to do after school, then then just come straight home don't like stay in the street like hang out hanging out with your friends and stuff like this because like nowhere is safe anymore so like i just kind of like just go to school or church or if my parents are going somewhere i just go so like i don't do like like a lot of stuff with my friends anymore hanging out everywhere i feel like bullying affects your mental health by if you could get bullied i feel like that changes just the way you act in general because people are trying to change who you are in like every day if they're bullying you because they don't accept you or they're jealous of you because of everything you got like it doesn't have to be like your money value or anything it could just be like they think you have nice hair and they're gonna start bullying you for any other traits you have because they're just jealous of you and it's like it changes you completely because you try to be that perfect person that is what fits what they like and not what who you really are and that affects your mental health in that way makes me feel kind of mad because it's like don't don't try to change the person you are for something that you aren't try to make everyone happy except yourself because it's hurting yourself mentally even though you don't recognize it because you're changing who you are you're losing your like what makes you you it's like you're not yourself anymore abuse can lead to many different mental health issues such as depression anxiety etc and it's a really big problem because um if you have depression or you have anxiety or any of those like mental health issues, it can like be really bad on you, and it can really affect like not only you but people around you. I think um, drug abuse is one of those issues where um, if you're really like affected by it, um, you act out like you, your family. Your, connect, your connections with family just um, vanishes and it's not really healthy to be um, surrounded with your family if, you, if you're like addicted to drugs. Um, I think stereotypes affect your mental health because a lot of times, you know, the more you see negative images of yourself, um, you start to internalize them, even if you're not necessarily um, directly thinking about it all the time. Um, it starts to make you maybe change how you view yourself, your people, or even other groups of people. Um, so it definitely can affect you pretty strongly. Um, I think 
stereotypes can shape the way you think about yourself because you're constantly bombarded with a lot of negative messages about how you should look, how you should behave, um, what you should like, what you shouldn't like. And the more you see images like that, the more you hear, um, you know, sounds or whatever it is, whether it's, you know, on the radio or on television or even in magazines, um, again, you just start to, you know, think about it more and more subconsciously. And I think that's the biggest thing with stereotypes is that it starts to eat away at you and affect you subconsciously. The media um, does a pretty good job at, at portraying a lot of stereotypes. And it's a sad thing because, you know, there's so many positive things about different communities. And a lot of times, whether it's blatant or not, they tend to reinforce a lot of stereotypes and I mean for them sure maybe it makes you money maybe it gets you higher ratings but I think there's a lot more damage that's done um, especially when you have a platform that can reach a wide population of people when I see stereotypes about my people um, or people that look like me um, I think especially when I was younger I definitely did start to think like oh like my hair isn't beautiful or my skin color isn't beautiful but I think as I got older it kind of um, it fueled me to want to do more to kind of like combat them and do something about it. So it actually kind of gave me the energy to, you know, kind of stop it and, you know, do my own projects to um, to kind of combat a lot of the stereotypes. And in terms of other communities, um, I think it kind of same thing. It kind of really motivates me to learn more about other communities and figure out, you know, if there's a community that I'm not from. Um, what can I do to learn about them to really know their history and their tradition so that whenever I see stereotypes, you know, I can kind of differentiate between what's true and what's not true.